In this video, we're going to be proving the surface area of a regular tetrahedron in 3D. So, a tetrahedron um, is going to be a triangle with all equal side lengths, so each of the edge faces are going to have an equal length, and then the interior angles, or the angles listed here, here, and at the top, those are all going to be 60 degrees. So, let's start with this triangle that's drawn below. I've drawn a triangle with 60 degree angles and all equal side lengths. And furthermore, I've drawn in a dotted blue line that's gonna represent our height. So I can fill that in right away. I can say that this is our height. And then I'm gonna use uh, L to designate a length of the side. Now on the bottom here, what we're gonna see is that the height actually divides the bottom length into two equal sections. So using abstraction, what I can do is say, well, if one complete length is represented by L, then I'm going to write this as L over 2 as half the length of one of those side lengths. So now that we have this, how do we get the height in terms of L? Because that should be our goal, is that we should have all three of these sides, our regular length, our half length, and our height, all in terms of L in order to prove that this is the case, or prove our 3D tetrahedron surface area. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Pythag theorem, because if I can use Pythag theorem, I'm gonna find that I can get this height in terms of L. So we have C squared, which is our hypotenuse, is equal to A squared plus B squared, where A and B are just our two random side lengths or the opposites and adjacents in this case. So we can either say that the A is gonna be H or the A is gonna be L over two, either one. And then C is gonna be our hypotenuse, which is L. So I have L squared, because that's our hypotenuse, is equal to, I'm just going to set h is equal to a. So I have h squared plus l over 2 squared, because that was our other length. Now let's solve for h in terms of l. So that means to isolate for h. If I want to isolate for h, well, first of all, let's do one expansion here. So we have l squared is equal to h squared plus, I'm going to square both the top and bottom or the numerator and denominator on the l over 2. So I have L squared over 2 squared, which is just 4. Now, if our goal is to isolate for H, let's subtract away the L squared over 4 from both sides. So now, on this left-hand side, or specifically first on the right-hand side, we see that these two cancel because we've subtracted them away. But L squared minus 1 quarter L squared, because we can actually separate that, we're going to get 3 quarters L squared is equal to H squared. Now what is H? We have to square root that side to get rid of the squared. So if I square both sides, the squaring is going to take care of the square term there. The squaring will take care of the square on the L, and then the square takes care of the 4 on the bottom. We're going to be left with root 3 L over 2 because L squared square root is L, four squared square or four square rooted is gonna be two, and then square root of three, it's a prime number, so it doesn't actually reduce. We're just gonna have square root three. And this is all equal to H. So now we actually know the H in terms of our L. We can even fill this in here. We can say root three L over four, L over two, excuse me, is gonna be equal to H. So we now know our H in terms of L. That's step one. Now, the step after this one is going to be, let's apply this into finding the surface area of just a single triangular face. Because we're looking for the entire uh, tri tetrahedron, which is actually four sides. So I could draw this lightly in and just say, we're only focusing on the one face, but technically we're looking for a completed uh, tetrahedron, which is going to be all four sides. And then I can even draw this one in at the bottom just to represent that we have the full triangular or tetrahedron in three dimensions. Now, if I scroll down here, then I can say step two, that's just saying, well, what's the surface area of a triangle? Surface area of a triangle is always found by base times height over two. So we can say that our base in this case, our base of our triangle or one triangular face is actually just L. It's the entire length. So we don't want L over two, we want L because that represents the entire line. So we have L times, well, we found our height to be root three L over two. And then this is all over two because this is just base times the height all over two. 
Now, this is going to be equal to, if I expand the numerators here, I have L times a root 3 times L, I get root 3 L squared over that 2 is actually just going to move to the bottom. Because what we can do is just below here, I'll actually represent this, we can have L times root 3L over 2 divided by 2. And if we use kiss and flip rule, we actually find that we get L times root 3L over 2. And it's going to be times 1 over 2. Thus, we multiply the numerators and denominators directly across. And we find that we're going to get above here root 3 L squared over 4 because the 2 times the 2 in the denominator there are going to make that. So now we can say this is the surface area for one face or specifically one side, either one. Finally, if this is the surface area for one face or one side, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to multiply this by 4 because a tetrahedron actually represents a triangular, uh, a, re a regular triangular pyramid um, where all the faces are the same. So in this case, we're going to have to multiply this by four. So step three, let's take this and multiply by four. Surface area or the sum of the faces is going to be equal to four times what we just found, which was root three L squared over four. We're going to see that a 4 in the numerator and a 4 in the denominator are going to cancel. And then this is, means that the surface area or the sum of the faces is going to be root 3 times L squared. Thus, this is our answer for the surface area of a regular tetrahedron.